Hello and welcome to Bro Duel. This time we have an interesting mod by the name of Take Notes. The mod lets you keep a player journal, so you can create entries, view them and even export them at any time. We've seen quite a few requests for this type of mod, especially when we covered the Read Books Aloud mod last month. So when we saw this we were excited to see how it was implemented. When you first install the mod you'll need to head into the mod menu where you'll be able to set up your hotkeys of choice. Once that's done you'll just need to press the hotkey and this is what you'll be greeted with. On the left is the help window and on the right is the main menu window. The help window is just a little reminder of the different hotkeys and options you have, but you can toggle it on and off with the F1 key. First you'll want to position and set up the window using the hotkeys. You can hold shift and the directional keys to change the positioning of the window and you can use control and the directional keys to change the size and opacity. And once that's done you can begin to write your journal. The main window has two modes, which you can toggle using the spacebar by default. The first mode is called Menu, and this is the mode where you can see the menu at the bottom. So in this mode you can create, edit or delete entries in your journal. You can move through the menu with the WASD keys, and you need to use the Activate key, which by default is E to choose one of the options. It's pretty self-explanatory, press E on New and begin typing your entry. You can see the date at the top as well as the entry number. Once you're done in this mode you can press space to switch to navigation, where the menu is hidden and you can use the WASD keys to navigate between all of the entries in your journal. And that's pretty much everything you need to know in order to use the system. Be sure to head into the mod menu at any time to save your positioning and opacity settings, but you don't need to save the journal individually as it's bundled with your save file. However, the mod doesn't block your save file and the size of your journal is so small they won't have an effect. The journal is also limited to 100 entries, but there's no character limit per entry. And of course, as I already mentioned, you can export the full journal at any time in the mod menu. First you'll need to install an additional mod called FISS for the feature to work. But it's extremely simple to install and it's just like any other mod. The destination for the exported journal is on screen now and if it doesn't work at first then you might need to create the folders and empty text file yourself and then you should be fine. In our opinion the journal works great and we really like that you can export it so easily. We also think it's a fantastic system for role playing and sharing your playthrough with others. And you could easily record little snippets for each journal entry, or even just a screenshot or two to help visualise your playthrough. Or you could even just use it as an in-game reminder pad so you can easily pick up from where you left off, which I'm sure a lot of you will find helpful. Since the mod's original release, the authors updated the mod twice to include fixes and some changes to improve the system. As of right now there's no compatibility issues, but you'll have to wait for an upcoming update if you want to use a controller with the system. The author is also looking to eventually replace the menu overlay with an in-game book, so the journal will hopefully be readable in-game like any other book, which we think would be an amazing addition to the mod. So overall, a great mod that we definitely recommend you all try on your next playthrough. As always, everything you need is down below, and be sure to leave endorsements on any mod you enjoy. And thanks for watching.